Exercise 160, page 410, question number 12. And there is an extension question at the end of this question uh, with the solution given for you to have a go at. So y equals minus 2x cubed plus 4x plus 7. Find the gradient when x equals minus 1.5. Here's the function plotted. It's a cubic because it's got an x cubed in it. And again, you can see the characteristic shape of that cubic curve. We have to find the gradient when x equals minus 1.5. So minus 1.5 is about here. So if I were to go up to this point and then draw a tangent to the curve at that point, I'm after the gradient at that point. You can see it's going to be a negative gradient, so I'm expecting a negative answer at the end. Again, to find the gradient, we differentiate. So we'll take our original function, y equals minus 2x cubed plus 4x plus 7, and differentiate it. So dy by dx equals minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. Take 1 for power, x squared plus 4 x disappears, so just 4, and the constant disappears. So there's my differential function. Now all I have to do is substitute in x equals minus 1.5 into this differential function. So the differential is going to be minus 6 times minus 1.5 squared plus 4. So putting those numbers in and being careful of signs, you should get the value in the textbook. Now we've got the extension question. There is another function, again plotted. This is a bit more complex, this function has got a square root inside it. Uh, we have to find the gradient when x equals 2. So I've drawn the tangent on the curve at roughly the point x equals 2. Positive gradient by the looks of it. So have a go, differentiate the function, and then substitute in the values. The solution follows. So there's the differential function, 4x minus 1 over root x. Substituting x equals 2, you should get a differential of 7.3 to two significant figures.